Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to link to documents from within a SharePoint document library. Uh, let me first explain to you what I mean by this. So uh, just to remind uh, you uh, what a document library is, of course, it's a file and cabinet uh, that resides on a SharePoint site uh, that allows us to organize files and folders. Uh, every site in SharePoint, uh, here's an example of uh, one of my department sites, sales department site in this case, every site in SharePoint that you create has at least one document library. Uh, the default name is uh, Documents. And of course, inside of the document library, inside of the our file and cabinet, I, I have files and folders. And of course, you can create additional document libraries if you need to, uh, but that's not what we're going to cover today. So again, a document library is an electronic file and cabinet that allows us to organize files and folders. And we can, of course, you know, create new folders, we can uh, create new documents, we can um, upload documents, uh, files and folders, we can also drag and drop them into our library. But here is a scenario for you. So uh, let's just say I have this um, sales department site and I want to, uh, I want to um, upload a policy document. Uh, into this library, uh, but the catch is that this policy document already happens to reside on another site. Uh, I have a separate site called Policies and it resides in a completely different site. It already resides in a completely different uh, document library. Uh, obviously, I can, you know, kind of copy the same document to my other site uh, and that would be kind of option number one. But I really want to prevent duplication, right? I really want to uh, prevent duplicates. I really don't want to, you know, have uh, the same document in multiple places. Well, the trick you can utilize uh, to resolve this is the link functionality from within a document library. Let me show you how to how to uh, use that. So I'm going to navigate to my sales department site. I'm uh, inside of my document library. Uh, so instead of duplicate and instead of uh, re-uploading the same document into this library, I'm going to create a link to it. Uh, here is how you do it. You click new and of course, right, you see all these different options available, but instead of creating a new document, we're going to create a link. And it comes up with this panel on the right hand side and this is where you can link to the document that you want to link to. Uh, and um, it actually comes up with some suggestion, suggestions. So this happened to be the documents that I modified recently. So, um, you know, you can just link uh, to one of the documents, uh, you know, directly. And as you can see, it creates a, a URL automatically for us. All right. Uh, however, um, you know, this policy document uh, was not on the list. So what I'm going to do is navigate uh, to this library where the document resides. Uh, and I'm going to grab a link, right click, copy link. All right. And by the way, you can toggle and maybe specify a particular type of link. Um, if you choose this kind of link, it will actually be uh, open to uh, the document will be available to everyone within the organization. Or, you know, I can, you know, make sure that only people who already have access to the site and this document uh, will have access to this um, uh, to this particular policy. So let me do that. I'm going to generate this link here. Here we go. I just copied it. And now I'm going to navigate to my uh, other site. Uh, I'm obviously going inside of the document library and I'm going to create a link. But um, instead of picking one of those documents, I will paste my link. And if you, you know, if you notice here, I actually have a I uh, have a field where I can name my link accordingly, so it makes sense. It's almost like a file name. All right, and then you hit create. And here we go. This is the link. All right, and this is exactly how it will look like. Uh, and if you click on this document, um, uh, on this link, it will open up, if you notice, right, a document from that other site. So it pretty much goes to that other destination. All right. Um, so this is a very, very... Um, you know, very, very powerful uh, feature. Now, um, another thing I want to highlight, uh, actually a couple of things um, that are very important to note here. Um, so first of all, uh, the, um, the access is determined by, 
you know, the security level, you have uh, the security and permissions you have set up uh, on the destination side and also by the type of link you generated, all right? Remember when I generated that link, um, if, you know, and I happen to generate a link uh, for people that already have access to that site. So that means if, you know, salespeople do not have access to the policy site, they will never, they will not be, they will pretty much get access denied uh, and they will not be able to uh, open that link. So uh, make sure that uh, the recipients, uh, sh you know, have access to the destination site uh, as well. Uh, lastly, um, and that's the cool thing about this link is that it's almost like a document, all right? It's almost like a document. So um, you can pretty much, you can, um, you know, you can actually uh, move it to, um, um, you know, move it uh, to a folder, just like a document, all right? Uh, you can, uh, if you have any metadata, uh, let me show you, I just moved this, uh, this uh, um, you know, URL, this link inside of this folder. If you have happened to have metadata on in your library, you can tag uh, the, the links just like, uh, just like the, uh, the documents. So it's uh, pretty, pretty powerful. So um, a use case, a great use case would be, of course, when you want to avoid duplication, um, you know, uh, another use case for this functionality would be uh, a situation maybe where you have a library, uh, let's say you're doing some research, maybe you're storing a bunch of, you know, PDF documents, and then uh, you also want to be able to link to um, some external websites, right? Because this link does not need to be, uh, does not need to be uh, a link to a document or a folder, it could be a link to any website, uh, all right? So um, it could be any, um, you know, link to a, to a website uh, on the web. So uh, again, if you maybe uh, organize um, um, uh, some research documents, some PDF documents, and then you also want to reference some external URLs, this would be a great way uh, to utilize this functionality. All right. So again, very, very powerful feature. And uh, hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, as always, I uh, will be happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.